It's been a couple of months now since I built my quick release vise. I use it all the time, it still works great and I'm very, very happy with it. I got some great feedback. Some of the feedback was it would be great if there was a no weld version of it. So about a week after I built the vise, I remade the, uh, the mechanism without welding and I did that by using plywood and it turned out great. I've just been very busy and I haven't had a chance to remake that and make a video of it so that's what I'm doing today. So I've got my scrap of plywood and I've got my template printed out ready uh, to help me make the parts. The steel mechanism in this one uh, is obviously stronger and more robust but saying that the plywood one is plenty strong enough and it's a lot easier to make so really there's no real reason to uh, make the steel one the plywood one. Uh, it works just as well and like I say it's easier to make so uh, let's get started and I'll show you how I'll make it and if you haven't already seen the original video I made on this mechanism you should probably watch that first to get a better understanding of uh, how it works uh, this one works exactly the same way it's just made out of plywood instead of steel but I probably won't go into quite so much detail in this one because I've already done that It may seem like a lot of pieces, but it really isn't. Uh, basically all it is, is two of these outside pieces here and the smaller one in the middle. They get glued together and then that forms this channel here and that rides along the threaded rod. So then, I'll put those back together. And then we've got this one here and the half nut gets uh, glued in place there. And then you can see where there's, uh, we need to put a hole through there and the same here. So we put a pin through there. It uh, creates a hinge and the half nut can go onto the other side of the threaded rod. And that is pretty much all there is to it. But I did cut a, a couple of extra pieces here and the reason for that is the plywood I've used isn't uh, as thick as the, uh, the nuts. So I'm going to glue two of those, I've made two of them, glue them together. And uh, then after they're glued together I'll cut them back down to the thickness of the uh, the half nut and I've had to do the same with the small piece in the middle as well so they can accommodate each other and that is pretty much it there was one extra piece but I'll show you that one when we come to it So the half nut sits in this space that we've created here and now I need to cut this down to the same thickness as the half nut and it does help a little bit making this out of plywood because I can just go to the nearest uh, the nearest ply. I'm going to do it on the bandsaw and it'd be safer to push it through this way so I'll mark the back of it which ply I need to, uh, to go to. I nearly forgot this piece here needs cutting down to thickness too and it needs to be ever so slightly thicker than this piece here so I'll mark it off on the next ply. I've just cut these bushings from a piece of copper pipe and the reason I need those is because this carriage is going to run along the threaded bar and eventually uh, the threaded bar would wear those, uh, it wear the plywood out so 
these uh, copper bushings get glued into the two outside bits so I can uh, take that away for a moment. When I, uh, I drilled these holes in these pieces here I used a 28mm bit and the threaded rod is 24mm and even with the, uh, the copper around it doesn't uh, come up to 28 so it doesn't quite fit in there. I didn't have a drill bit exactly the right size but I'm using epoxy uh, to glue that in so that can just make it the difference and there's a little bit of overhang there but I'll glue it in first and then I'll just trim that off with the uh, hacksaw and I'll just show this as well it needs to be fairly loose on there it just sort of needs to fit but uh, doesn't need to be tight at all just loosely fitting and I nearly got that wrong the bit that we rounded over that corner of the thread needs to go this side where the pin is I'm going to hot glue the magnet in and it needs to be fairly flush with the surface but it needs to be below these bushings here so uh, the threaded rod doesn't actually rub on it but it needs to be as close as possible so it's as strong a, a connection as possible so I'm going to hot glue the back of that and as that hot glue goes off I can make sure I push it in exactly the position I need it so that should help that's hot it's almost ready to put together we just need to make a pin but before we do that I've got this final piece here that I showed earlier and we need to glue that onto here and the reason for that is when the vice is being used the force is uh, pushing on both halves of uh, this mechanism here evenly so it's going to pull uh, it's going to pull this into the vice and uh, the same pressure is going to be applied on both those faces if that wasn't there it could pull round this way and twist and break it may not but it could and then the other thing is as well this just uh, covers the half nut a little bit so it gives that a little bit of support as well to stop the nut from pushing pushing this way I'm using a bullet head nail for the pin and the reason for that is it's fairly loose in there it's 2.8 millimeter and the hole is three and a half but what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch uh, the head down and the head should just grip just inside underneath the surface there and hold it in place uh, and when I do that it's going to be a little, a little bit too long so I'm just going to take a little bit off there now and just do that with the pliers This hole here is for the threaded rod to go through and the threaded rod needs supporting in some way either with bushings which we could put into this hole here or if you see my vice build then I use guide rails and that supported the threaded rod but one way or another it needs supporting. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm not, go I'm not adding bushings it's just a, a demonstration. I'm just going to make the hole 24mm which is the same as the um, as a threaded rod so these holes are going to support it but that would be no good over time because the threaded rod would wear the holes out and I haven't got a 24mm bit so I've got this cheap 25mm spade bit and I've just uh, filed a little bit off it either edge here so that's brought it down to 24 And the other hole is for the rod to go through and that's for the mechanism to wedge against.
to glue the bar in just use a bit of super glue or epoxy or whatever you have at hand it doesn't need too much I don't think just to keep it in place before you fix and glue the housing together do a dry run by holding it together with a couple of clamps and make sure everything works the way it's supposed to and it should do as long as you kept close to the lines and drill the holes in the right places when I fix this together I just did it with nails because it's a demo but you should definitely put some screws in and when you come to fix this uh, on your vise then you you can install it uh, by putting screws into the corners here but make sure you do it in the corner so it doesn't interfere with the mechanism you could also extend this front face here and have a couple of wings and screw to the back of the fixture there and also I would uh, put a pocket hole either side and screw it to the underneath of your bench top as well so I'll just show you uh, putting it together you just hang the half nut side down and the tab there will put against the bar and then this half pipe here will try and locate that so it lines up with the hole and there we go that's free now it's free there we go tightens up it really does work fantastic it really does and don't pay any attention to the threaded rod running on the plywood because as I said earlier it will run in bushings this is just a demo so before you install it on the vise then make sure everything works as it should do and that the mechanism is free inside the housing there uh, one thing I do need to do here if you imagine this is the underneath of the workbench top that tab there is very close and it could get caught up on there and get wedged so I'm going to sand a little bit off there and there's plenty on there, it'll still hit the bar. So just have a little look at it and make sure everything works the way it should. I've just launched my new website and I'll put a link in the description below so if you get a chance please check that out and any feedback would be fantastic and appreciated. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you did please like and subscribe. Is that fly bothering you Dodge? Uh, I got lots of great feedback from the original steel version of this mechanism that I made, the one that's in this vise here, but some of the feedback was it's great but now I need to learn how to weld and I even got asked quite a few times whether I could make it for uh, different people but um, I haven't got time for that so now with the plans you should be able to make your own at uh, this plywood one and it works fantastic as well. Uh, it really is quite easy to make but the plans I am going to sell these plans I've never done that before up to now all my plans have been free but I think most of you would appreciate the time and effort that I put into them uh, these these plans here have taken me hours in fact they they've taken me days and that goes for the uh, some of the ones that I've made in the past as well the plans are reasonable and at the same time you'd be supporting me as well I just wanted to say thank you to uh, my Patreons and some of those Patreons will get these plans for free as well. But I wanted to say thank you for all their support and all the comments that I get on my uh, uh, regular update videos that I do and I really enjoy making those videos as well. Don't bite it, dodge you'll wreck your teeth. And uh, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everybody else here as well. Uh, I've just reached 100,000 subscribers and that is just incredible. So thank you uh, for that and thanks for all your support, all the comments and all the likes. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.